My name is Philippe Decombe. I'm uh, the team manager of Asia Racing Team. We are racing uh, GT3 Asia this season for the very first time. We uh, used to be, until now, a uh, team racing basically the single seaters in Formula Renault, Formula BMW, and this year Formula BAF. And uh, we are having a very good season so far because we are running second in the championship. We won uh, one of the races, the last event in Fuji. And we are looking forward to a very good uh, weekend here in Suzuka, even though it's raining. And uh, basically, now I would like to make a quick, quick introduction to Ricky. Ricky Martino is our chief engineer. He's been working in a British GT with a Porsche for the last few years, and he will make a very good introduction of the cars for you. My name is Ricky Martino. Uh, I'm the chief engineer here at ART Motorsport. I'd just like to introduce the new Porsche GT3R. Uh, road race going version, very similar to the GT3 RS Porsche road car. Um, a few adjustments, obviously we have an aerodynamic package. As you can see we have a different aerodynamic package, a lot wider on the car. Front dive planes to help support the front of the vehicle. Uh, we also have the wide body, the rear wing on the car. Um, helps the driver very much uh, in high speed corners, keeps the car planted on the circuit. Uh, the engine is very similar to the road going, it's a 4 litre um, flat 6 boxer engine producing 480 horsepower. Okay, so here we have the flat 6 Porsche uh, boxer engine, 4 litre capacity, uh, producing 480 brake horsepower. That power is delivered to the rear wheels via the drivetrain, which, as you can see here, is the six-speed sequential gearbox. Engine horsepower is delivered to the rear wheels via the six-speed purpose-built Porsche sequential gearbox. This is the gear shifter here. Very easy. It's not like a H-pattern gearbox. It's just back and forward for the driver. Six gears, including reverse. Uh, inside the car here, obviously, you can see the driver has lots of uh, little gadgets to play with. Here we have settings for traction control, pit speed limits, alarms, fuel mappings uh, for the engine. On the centre console here you have, very similar to your road version, you have your headlights, wipers, um, reserve fuel systems for the car. Little features, driving features are cool boxes. This is to keep obviously connected to the driver's race suit. The temperatures out, out here, the, the cockpit temperature can reach 80 to 90 degrees, uh, very hot and very physical and demanding for the driver. Okay, so to help, uh, help the dri drivability of the car, we have a uh, McPherson strut, fully adjustable suspension on the car. Uh, you can adjust the ride heights, the spring rates of the vehicle, also the anti-roll bars. Um, performance braking here, uh, we have a six-pot caliper Brembo uh, on a steel disc rotor. On the rear of the vehicle, again we have a full multi-linked suspension, fully adjustable ride height, fully adjustable spring rate um, on a, on a two-way sax damper. So for this weekend we started testing yesterday with two sessions of uh, dry condition which was pretty good actually. Uh, Eddie and Sasha, it was the first time for them on this track, so they, do, they took it quite easily uh, just to uh, make sure they learn the track properly. Today, the conditions are a bit different. It's raining and I think it's gonna be raining for the whole weekend, but um, Eddie is okay with the rain. Sasha is gonna take a little bit more time to get used to it, but I think we are looking forward to a very good result this weekend.